everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Seppi, and in today's video, I thought I would be showing you guys some of the stuff that I've been buying um, during this time in isolation or quarantine. Um, it's a mixture of stuff that I've kind of needed, slash stuff that I've been looking at and like kind of lusting, and I'm like, just go for it and get it. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd put it all together in one haul. It's just a mixture of stuff like um, skincare stuff, hair care stuff, and clothing. So if you guys want to see that, then obviously please keep watching. Also, let me know down below in the comments, are you guys kind of shopping more now that you've got more time on your hands to kind of look around online? Or are you shopping less? Like, because obviously I know a lot of people can't go to work now, so maybe you're saving up towards more important things and you're not shopping. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. Have Let's have a little chat about it. I'll be interested to know. Um, but yes, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Insta is Persian Bunny. All the clothes I'm showing first are from Missy Empire and I'll have them all linked down below. All the items will be linked down below and the sizes that I chose to get as well. So the first stuff I'm going to show you guys all from Missy Empire. Um, it's basically a British clothing brand. I was like picking stuff online and stuff and I was like, I really like the clothes on their website. And then I checked my mailbox and they were like, do you want to kind of um, collab? They can send me some stuff to post on my Insta and here on YouTube. So this isn't a sponsored video at all, but they did give me the items um, for free. So I'll be showing you guys um, what I chose, which I am so obsessed with. So the first thing I chose was this blazer and it has got a belt that goes around it. It's a black, like oversized blazer. And I think that this is so nice on, you'll see it in the try on bit on the side. Um, I think that this is so nice on and it just makes every outfit look smart and chic. I think the belt of it allows you to have like a cinch waist so that you don't lose your feminine like sexy figure whilst wearing an oversized blazer, which is what I like. Cause most of the time when I wear an oversized blazer, I feel like it hides like my nice like waist underneath it you know what i mean um also if you don't want to tie the belt you don't have to you can just take it out which is also really good about this laser and i think that i would probably wear wear this with like a black dress and white knee-high boots i think that would be such a vibe or just jeans and a crop top and throw this blazer over i feel like everybody needs a black blazer in their closet and this one fits so beautifully so the next item is this white leatherette corset i think it's so nice the material is so smooth and like just it feels like real leather in my opinion and i really really like this because i feel like it's such a twist on the just the regular corset it's got like this floor is it floral cut detail like the edges are just rounded off and it's really really cute and i feel like that makes it different along with the material which is leather i haven't seen many leather corsets so i feel like this is so nice especially for summer nights that are coming up i would wear this with some blue jeans and i feel like that would look so nice together or you could even wear it with some blue shorts and some black like dr martin style shoes and wear it to like a festival this is such a versatile piece and that's why i picked it i really love it so the next item i picked is so not something I would usually wear, but basically it was very inspired by this photo of Negin Mirsalahi. I thought she looked absolutely stunning in that photo and I wanted to be able to recreate that look. And plus I feel like this piece is so cool to be able to wear over a bikini or to like a festival or something like that. And I feel like this would look so nice even on a night out. I just thought that it's quite versatile. So the back is like open and it closes like this with like this chain so that's why it's kind of cool as like a cover-up but my hair is long so unless i tie it up no one will kind of see this back feature anyway so if i go wear it on a night out it won't it won't show basically um but yeah it feels really cool i it's completely see-through though by the way guys so if i wore this i probably have to wear like nipple covers over it because look you can kind of get the outline of it i'd have to wear nipple covers sorry underneath it um or like a strapless bra that's nude underneath it um but i feel like this is such a cool piece you might even be able to throw this over a white shirt what do you guys think i feel like it's quite versatile so that's why i chose it but i would never usually pick something like that so it was quite cool to like step out my comfort zone and like, be inspired by like another influencer so tell me who like inspires you what influencers and their style that you really like i want to know um but yeah i love like taking inspo from instagram now the next item I think is such a perfect piece for quarantine. It is this nude hoodie and it says a Saint Laurent on the front and it's got this kind of, um, what's that called? A lightning bolt, bolt. 
can't even talk today but yeah it's a hoodie and i feel like this is so cute because it's like a pastel color so it's good to wear in like the springtime like we're experiencing now in london right now we're experiencing a heat wave so yeah this is not typical london weather i guess we're quite blessed right now but i know that it's going to be quite cold again next week and just in general i live in hoodies and tracksuit bottoms right now during this quarantine time so i think this is such a nice one guys i feel like this would even look good like after quarantine time when you want to go out in jeans um and a hoodie this is such a cute one to wear i absolutely love it and also i don't know about you guys but when i go on holiday sometimes i like to wear a hoodie over my bikini once the sun has set and you're kind of going um back to your resort or whatever it gets a bit chilly so i like to wear hoodies over that as well and i feel like the colors of this one makes it so much more like spring summer friendly um so i really really like this so this bag also from Missy Empire is one of my, has become basically my favourite bag right now. This looks so much like the Bottega bag, it's like a dupe for it but obviously much more affordable. And I absolutely love it, I love the shape, I like the size. The size is perfect because when I go out usually it's like I have to toss up between putting my vlog camera in my bag or my wallet in my bag and it's just really like frustrating and my, I can't fit everything in basically because tiny bags became a trend for ages so this is a nice like small bag not micro bag basically so that's really good because i can fit my phone in there my camera in there my card case in there and even some makeup and it's perfect i love the way it sits on your shoulder like this how cute like even with what i'm wearing right now i just feel like this like adds a little bit of a statement piece to it and it's almost like just it's almost like an accessory that like vibes up your outfit do you know what i mean let me know what you guys think if you guys like this i want to know if like we have the same style guys and if you guys are into the new bottega stuff because i absolutely am but sometimes i worry with like stuff like that where i'm like is it going to be a trend item where then i've dropped like two thousand pounds on a bag and next year no one's even going to be wearing it whereas i can get this that looks so similar and it's literally one hundredth of the price is it one wait let me do that maths yeah one hundredth ish of the price so you could get a hundred like these or one at Bottega so yeah I don't think Bottega's ever going to want to sponsor me after I've said that but um moving on okay next item guys I love a good pair of jeans and I absolutely love these jeans hold on I'm just doing up the button so it looks more aesthetic for you guys I got these pair of jeans and they have just this one single rip here on the thigh on your right thigh and then they are like kind of like not they're not skinny at the bottom but they're not flare either so I guess they're just like straight leg right um and I love the wash on it I love just everything about it it fits nice and tight not tight but like it's well fitted around your waist and on your thighs and the cut just makes it really funky you can close it up if you want like i've bent it down so much that like it won't stay up anymore unless i iron it up but like there like you can have it up like that if you want but i like it bent down like that and i just feel like you guys will see obviously in the try on how cool it looks but i feel like there's so many jeans out there that just have loads of rips on it and it's really nice to have one that just has one rip and like really well fitted this is like what the back of it looks like and i just love the color i feel like the color of the wash of the jeans is perfect for like the spring summer time next up and i feel like this kind of goes with the blazer that i showed you guys but this is again another trend piece that i'm obsessed with and that missy empire has priced it like much better in my opinion than like some of the high street stores like zara and it is this high-waisted um black trousers right but at the bottom it has got this slit at the end and yeah it's like got this slit at the end so like half of like your ankle is basically out and like it shows like your heels but then it falls over your heels you guys will see what i mean in the try on and i absolutely love this i feel like if you wear this because it's high waisted if you wear it with like a crop top and some strappy heels it'll look so nice or even you can wear it with the blazer that i showed in the start and like you could just if you tape yourself down well in it properly i think it would look really cute again the crop tops and even a white shirt i feel like you could also wear this to work like it's quite kind of a cool workwear thing but the slit on the side makes it different and you could wear it on a night out as well that's why i love it and i like that the missy empire priced it better than a lot of other brands that are selling this style of item now the last item i got is kind of something that i'm obsessed with um it's obviously for colder weather but i live in england guys cold weather is like our middle name here um so we get cold weather very often and it is this 
white fleecy jacket oh my god i absolutely love it is it called brog brog i can't pronounce that word or like teddy i don't know but i literally love this i like that it's in white because it makes it more appropriate for spring like spring summertime i got it in a size 10 so that i could fit hoodies underneath it and stuff so that you can kind of layer up and just be like a little warm fuzzy teddy bear and i feel like this is because of the color of it i could wear this in springtime and then still have it in my wardrobe come like autumn so i thought that that was kind of a wise purchase on my behalf but yeah i absolutely love coats like this i think that they're just really funky um naomi jenez i don't know if you guys know her but i love her style on instagram and she loves coats like this so i absolutely love it so that's all the clothes and next i'm going to move on to skincare and i got my favorite skincare delivered to me so let me open this up can you guys guess what brand of skincare i love so i have eczema i have like really dry skin but also really oily skin in my t-zone like incredibly oily like my makeup everyone who follows me knows goes really shiny after a while um so yeah i'm really like sensitive about the kind of skincare that i use i use a lot of like creams that aren't um like don't have scents in them so Growing up, I basically only used Diprobase cream, which is an emollient that you guys can get from like pharmacies and stuff like that. So um, that's what I use. But recently, for the past couple of years, I've been using a lot of Kiehl's products. So this is like what's come inside the packaging. They've sent me a ton of samples as well. So yeah, I find Kiehl's products to be really good for my skin. Like they work really well, even though I've got eczema. I want something that's hydrating and not too thick, but also not too watery. Because if it's watery, then it just doesn't work on my skin at all. Like I feel like I haven't moisturized it. So that's why I absolutely love Kiehl's Ultra Moisturizer. Ultra Facial Cream, that's what it's called. Um, I absolutely love this one. I've got it in the 50 mil. 50 mil. They've got one size bigger than this as well, but this is just the size that I find useful because it fits inside my makeup bag as well in case I need to throw it in my makeup bag for when I'm going to work and stuff. So I absolutely love this. It feels really soft and smooth and it doesn't have a scent to it, I believe. Um, well, I can't really smell anything. So I think that that's really good because it stops any breakouts. In my opinion, scent inside moisturizer is not good for your skin um so try and avoid it where you can um especially like for a daily moisturizer so yeah i try and use something that doesn't have any scent to it and this one's really good i've been using it for a couple of years the next item also from the ultra range of keels is the ultra facial cleanser um i haven't tried this one before i'm gonna try it out and i'll let you guys know how i find it i was basically looking for they have this blue salicylic acid one that's good for breakouts and i wanted that one because at that point at the point that i was ordering this by the way it took a week for my delivery to come from keels because of everything that's going on um so yeah at the time that i was ordering this i had really like bad break broken out skin but um actually in the past like week or so my skin's really cleared up because i'm a bit less stressed to be honest like as in my exams are basically done i don't know about you guys but like my health is really linked to stress and i think that it's so important to try and like relax yourself and stuff and i've been doing that a lot more often and i do feel like good weather helps my skin and helps my stress levels so my skin's been a lot better so this is i think a really good probably it says for all skin types gentle liquid formula that cleanses without over drying or stripping the skin so i think this is like a good daily wash which is what i was looking for whereas the salicylic acid one which comes in like a blue it's got like a blue cap thing i think that one would be a lot more like like you'd have to use it just when you've got breakouts because it does feel like quite kind of strong on the skin like it is a, like a really strong formula because it is there to like target breakouts and stuff so yeah i, I really want to try this one i'll let you guys know how i get along with it i'll probably film like a skincare routine at some point with these items so look out for that and the last item i got from keels again this is a repurchase um is the color Ka i cannot pronounce this keels calendula deep cleansing foaming facial wash with calendula calendula flower extract is for normal to oily skin and this is this is meant to be for like broken out skin i remember when i went to the keel store and purchased this the first time about a year ago the lady who was there told me this is a really good daily facial wash for like um skin that has like sensitivity and is oily so i tried this out and i really liked it um this is the small travel size one i didn't want to get i mean it's quite big for small isn't it it's about 
75 mils and the last one that was this size that I got lasted me like a good few months so um, because I'll be kind of alternating between this and that one I didn't want to get a large one but it's up to you guys what size you get but I like that's what I like about Kiehl's is they have smaller size ones as well so that if you want to try something out you're not spending a huge ton of money on something that you might hate like I think like it's good that they give you a smaller size one that you can try out for yourself okay so the last item I've got is from Beauty Works and that is a hair Brit I think it's British I'm not sure um, but it's basically a hair like company, hair care company, and I've been wanting this item for ages. I've been umming and eyeing over whether I should get it because I've seen ones from other brands that like are not as expensive as this one, and this isn't like sent to me or anything. I bought it with my own money, same with like the Kiel stuff. Um, but I wanted to be sure that it's worth my money because I'd seen like a dupe version, not a dupe, but I've seen like an, another brand, Mark Hill, that did it for like thirty pounds, and this one was seventy pounds. Um, and it is basically their hair waver so i'll take it out of the box now and show you guys it's called beauty works the waver um and it looks like that basically the reason why i was really pushed towards getting it is because they had a 10 percent off their website and then you got extra money off for like student discount so it ended up coming down to like a lot cheaper like 50 something pounds I was like, you know what, I really want it. I might as well get it now that it's like got such a good offer on it. And this is what it looks like. So it's like a triple barrel um, and it's like in this white and rose gold. Or is it actual gold? No, it's white and bronze. Guys, I'm so like color blind these days. Um, and this is the way it works. So one barrel is on this side and two are on this side. And then you put like your hair in between it. Let me see what I'm doing. And then you hold it down like that and it's meant to wave your hair. Um, I'm going to try this out and you guys will probably see what my hair looks like on my Instagram once I've tried it out. Um, and if I do any makeup stuff here on YouTube too, you guys will see it. But I'm really, really excited to try it out and um, see what it looks like and see what my hair comes out like. But I really, because I have really long and really straight hair, I really find having curling tools that actually work like hard to find because I don't know if any of you guys out there have a really straight hair too and can relate but like for me if I do a curl in my hair even if I hairspray it it will fall out like within a few hours and I'll just look like not even like poofy hair but just like what have you done to your hair like it just looks abnormal and weird so um I really hope that this works and the curls stay in for me um so I will show you guys once it's done and because my hair is quite long I think that like a mermaid style will look really pretty um versus like normal curling irons usually aren't long enough for my hair um to fit the whole thing in so this is kind of because you have to do it section by section anyway um and hold it like vertically like that and do this section then next section next section I think that that's like more easier to do with long hair. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this. So that is the end of my haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please give this video a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to me down below. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what items you guys liked from this haul. If there's anything that you guys have your eye on. Even if it's not in this haul, let me know. I mean, I am giving in to temptation and buying the things that I really have been wanting. Like you guys can see. So yeah, let me know if you guys are the same right now. And I know it's a tough time but um feel free to come to my channel for some positivity and have a chat with me in my dms on insta if you guys are ever feeling down i will always try and be there for you love you guys bye